Hi everyone, uh, today I will show you how to extract uh, uh, seismic weight uh, using the Excel sheet which I have created. So it makes your work a little bit uh, easier. So first I will explain what has to be done. So first you need to, once you are like, usually seismic weight, uh, we use it when we are doing a response spectrum. So generally like for a more, more complex structure it will be very useful. So uh, while doing response spectrum, uh, like you need to have a seismic weight. So if it is a stride forward, then you can directly define under your uh, seismic weight. So, uh, but when structure is complex, you need to extract uh, loads at all uh, important node points. So in that case, uh, you can follow this step described. Okay. So first, like for seismic weight, we need to have only dead load and live load and you need to have a combination so dead load and a live load so live load depends on the intensity of the live load but if you go as per Indian standard it is like 50% if the intensity of the live load is more than 3 kN per meter square and less than that you can go for 25% okay so here I will show you so before doing that you have to create uh, support okay pin support and you need to assign all uh, important uh, uh, node points so for just for showing I'll just apply for the entire model okay so I um, have applied here so after applying all the okay after the analysis completed so then you can open the excel sheet here after extracting the uh, support reactions so here we have fx and fy so as i told we need only fy here for considering uh, for seismic weight so that need to be applied in both fx and fz in our earthquake in our response spectrum uh, definition so here you can go to next sheet seismic weight here you can press uh, extract seismic weight so it extracts all your load so you need to copy the loads so in this case you can copy these items and here like you have to open your actual model this is a secondary model created for showing so let's say i'll just add uh, earthquake primary seismic okay so here here you need to add your own forces so how you can add so you can add it as a joint load so you can open you can go back to your editor okay under EQ you can call it as a joint joint load and then paste the, paste the values from the Excel sheet then you can define your response spectrum so you need to create a response spectrum so response spectrum so so you can create custom response spectrum values okay so you can add the response spectrum. You can so response spectrum will be added. So if you want in other direction, so then you don't need to define the seismic weight. Seismic weight need to be defined in any one of the um, your any one of your uh, seismic uh, load case. After you extracting seismic weight, make sure you're using the actual model, not the model with the uh, support condition. Keep watching and you can download the Excel sheet from uh, the video description below. Thank you.